Hey guys! I'll do first. I'll do first. No, it's me. Okay, you go. Okay. Hey guys! I'm Tina. I teach CPSC 8 Maths. Hey guys! Already we said the hey, right? Yeah, but still. But still, you can with your dialogue. Okay, it's me, Tanya Ravi. I teach 10th Max. Okay, now let's get into the video.
going to learn this. So, this is also similar to the first identity that we have already learned. So, yeah. So, you guys can see the question is 4b minus 3q the whole square. So, here we can identify easily. We can name it as a. So, a is equal to 4p, b is equal to 3q. So, I forgot to mention one thing. So, we learned the identity before this, right? That is, let me show, x plus a into x plus b. Only in this identity, just remember very well, only in this identity we can take the sign, okay? So, plus sign we won't mention, but if we have minus sign, we will mention it, okay? So, here you guys can see we have minus 3q. In this property, we won't use. Only in the fourth identity, we will use it, okay? So, now let's solve this. So, a is equal to 4q. So, 4, sorry, 4p, the whole square minus 2 into 4p into 3q plus b square b is 3q 3q the whole square so now you guys uh, might understand right so now let's solve this so 4 4 are 16 so 16 p square minus 4 2 are 8 or we can multiply it 4 3s are 12 12 twos are or we can multiply 4 twos are 8 8 threes are so 24 then pq because p into q is pq plus 3q the whole square 3 square is 9 then q square q square means q square if we simplify also it is q square so q square so this is the answer for this subdivision. I hope you guys are clear in this. It's because this is really the easiest one. This and the first one is really easy. You will be able to understand it easily. We will change this format into the RHS one. If it is in the RHS one, we will convert to LHS one. So how we will find? So the important thing is we will name it. Okay, we will just name each. So this is the question. So first we will name it A and then minus sign. Then we will name it as B the whole square. So you guys will remember A minus B the whole square. There is a property like that. You will be able to recall it easily. Okay. So now we have learned the three properties. And now only one property is left. So let me show you guys what's the property. So the property is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So now we are going to learn this property. Yeah. So this is also really easy. Okay. It's like just very easy. So here we will just convert it and we will subtract or add. So you guys will be confused if I say it like that. So let me show. So now we have 194 into 206. So, here you guys can see it's not similar with the prop identity, any identity. So, what we will do is we will just write like in the fourth identity while learning the fourth identity we saw right how we split it in that way we will split this also. So, 94 and 206. So, here nothing is similar like the uh, fourth identity. But here you guys can see we can split it as so 200 minus 6 and 200 plus 6. I hope you guys understood like we will split it. So like here 200 minus 6 is 194 am I right? So I did it in that form. So 200 minus 6 and 200 plus 6. So now you might understand oh 200 minus 6 is 194 and 200 plus 6 is 206. So now it is similar to which one? Guess which one? It is similar to the RHS form. In the third identity, it's similar to the RHS form. So we will change it into the LHS form. So this is very easy. Okay. So first what we'll do is 
we will name it okay this is a this is b and minus here and here a plus b so yeah so now what we will do is this is really important just listen carefully okay so now we will write a so we will replace the a square with 200 square 200 square minus b square so what is b 6 so 6 square okay i hope you guys understood we will write it in this form so now it is a square minus b square so next what we'll do is we'll multiply 200 into 200 because 200 square right so 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 then again 2 0 so 0 2 0 so 0 2 2 so 4 so 4 0 0 0 0 so now we have 40,000 so let me write 40,000 minus 6 square 6 square means 6 into 6 am I right so 6 square so minus 36 6 square is 36 so 40,000 minus 36 so 4 will become 3 this will become 9 9 9 and 10 so 10 minus 6 is 4 9 minus 3 is 6 and here 9 here also 9 and 3 yeah so now what's our answer we have 39,000 964 let me write 39,964 so this is our answer for this subdivision I hope you guys understood how to use a property once it will be in the LHS form and and we will convert it into the LHS form or sometimes it will be in the LHS form and we should convert it into the RHS form so here we had it in RHS form so we wrote it a a is equal to 200 right so 200 square here we have a square so a a is 200 and the square value then minus b square so b is equal to 6 so 6 square then we will solve it so 200 square is 40,000 minus 6 square is 36 so then we will subtract it so the important thing is we will also solve the square values don't forget we will also solve the square values so this is the answer for that subdivision so i hope you guys are clear with all four properties okay in the next exercise we are going to use this properties to solve all the solution so this is the explanation for all four identities totally there are only four identities okay that is a plus b the whole square a minus b the whole square a square minus b square and x plus a into x plus b so these are the four identities thank you guys for watching this video please do not forget to like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubts command me in the comment section bye take care